Well, it is that time again. We are back in airships, Conquer the Skies. We got uh, our recent conquest of Lilik and uh, Tape Jar up there on the top of the map. We're the light blue region if you're just joining us for the first time. We also got this uh, nice assembly of ships and tanks that we've either made ourselves, like the Encroacher, or that we've uh, taken from the enemies like Mars and Viceroy. Uh, we have some new territory here we're probably going to be taking. Uh, Nurlogesh is a good uh, target. I also got Kranst and uh, Alton is all. But last time, right when we left off, the pirates came and made home in our territory. And that takes away 20% of the income from Tape Jar. And right now we only have one income per turn or whatever that we're getting. So knocking these guys out of here should help us get another like eight income at least. Eight, nine income. Depending on how generous they are with the rounding. Um, so let's, let's see here how we do. I got five of my uh, best ships here. All pretty much marine uh, transport ships. And it looks like, I'm not sure if that was an hourglass emblem on their, uh, for th basically the pirate's banner, or if that just means that they're having to wait. I'm not real sure. But there's an hourglass over on the building here, too. As we quickly drop their blimp ship, or whatever it is, their pirate ship, out of the sky. And it's already destroyed. You got the red X there, meaning that it's out of commission. And we're basically just grinding it up now with our cannons. All right, so we're going to move our ships forward. We're going to what I want to do is just get right over the uh, pirate stronghold. And uh, if you hadn't watched before, our um, strategy has been basically dropping troops in to enemy buildings and uh, land ships and even airships if we can do it, and taking over a lot of these bases by just sending in the marines. So we have a pretty heavy contingent on board of each of these ships of uh, just a marine uh, invasion force. And uh, it seems to have been working pretty good so far. We haven't run into very many buildings that are properly defended. They usually might have one or two guards, but they're not able to take on an entire brigade of my Marines. So we're going to send in two just for good measure. We'll come on down here uh, behind the tree, and we got one already stationed uh, on top of the building dropping bombs, making holes in their buildings so we can jump on down and slap the crap out of them. And we got solid green bar, meaning they had no defense forces whatsoever. So we're basically just going to murder at will. We're going to give them all wet willies and dunk their heads in the toilet. It's over, pirates. Give me all your money. There we go. So we got uh, the pirate headquarters captured, destroyed their small ship, all in the dead of night. Got a sweet thousand bucks for the uh, trouble that caused us, and uh, we actually ended up with a little more than I thought we were going to get. We got another 11, uh, so my math must not be the best there, but I think part of it was also that we had recovered from the war. Anyway, we got some new territories here now that we've cleared out the uh, evil pirates, and we need to go ahead and uh, build some new stuff, too. Uh, now that I'm over in the uh, left half of the map, or over on the west coast, there's some roads and stuff that prevented me from building land ships before, so I'm thinking about building something beastly like this Titan looks awesome. It looks like it has about 15 cannons, uh, tons of crew quarters and ammo and everything, and about 6,000 bucks. It'll probably take a while to build, but I think if we're going to build something, we might as well build one really awesome uh, land ship instead of a bunch of small ones as they tend to get in each other's way in a 2D uh, side-scrolling adventure takeover style game. So. Let's just go ahead and we'll go for this one. Uh, we need to go ahead and build it. Uh, name it something here. I guess we'll do Titan 1. That's fine. I'm not going to really go into all the coloring details like we did for the Encroacher last time. But uh, we are going to build it. Looks like it's going to take a while. I'm looking at the progress meter there. Let's go ahead and send our forces over to Altenzal. Or Altenzal. And uh, see what they got. Uh, they had basically just been invaded by uh, Catwits or whatever down below so these are all the uh, invading army forces and they basically stripped the land clean of anything that was there before so we're kind of taking advantage of the situation and uh, we're just going to kick out the invading army with our bigger army and uh, claim this land for ourselves so a little bit of a dirty trick but uh, we are at war after all and uh, if we can take out some of their forces while we're at it all the better. Looks like they have three pretty light airships with machine guns and uh, they're more like a blimp. Those little green things on top of their ship or looks like a helium chamber. So uh, pretty lightweight and easy to take out if you just uh, aim in the right area. Where ours are more suspendium powered crystals with uh, turbines and good armor. So pretty much real warships. 
not that flimsy crap that they're bringing down in Kathwitz. We also got one of the uh, tanks down here too. Uh, I was thinking about possibly dropping my marines into it and taking it over to make it ours, but I have quite a collection of crappy tanks from uh, the different lands we've taken over so far, and there's an upkeep charge on each of them. And it looks like uh, they are retreating or surrendering. Uh, we destroyed one of their ships, and one of them fell on top of our ship, causing some damage. We're going to have to fix that. And looks like, uh, yeah, Catwick has basically retreated as their option. So their remaining army is uh, going back down to their capital city. So I have to keep an eye on those guys as we didn't totally take out everything they had. That was probably the right move for them too. Uh-oh, we got dragons in the area. Brand new uh, dragons have uh, nested outside of Catwitz to our south. Uh, and south of us in Alton is our Altonzal too. So we're going to have to keep an eye out for it. They're probably going to mess more with uh, Lillar Sloth and Catwick. Uh, as I think the dragons are a little bit closer to them than they are to us. But it's possible they could come up. Alright, so we uh, need to put some new watchtowers in the land we just took over. And uh, so we're going to go ahead and name our first tower. Of course, instead of uh, Silent Watchtower, this is the uh, Tower of Wild Screaming. As uh, being silent is not all it's cracked up to be, and uh, oftentimes screaming is more fun. So what we're going to do, wild screaming, we'll throw it, uh, I guess, on the hill. Give them a little lookout, right? Normally I would put it all the way back to the property, but uh, that's less fun. All right, so we've uh, built a tower of wild screaming. I've been uh, fixing up all my other ships, too, from uh, the different battles we've been doing so far with the pirates and uh, the Catwick people. We've got to build one more tower here. I don't want to just leave it to one. I want to be able to abandon this land with some of my army and not have to immediately lose it. So we're going to build the Tower of Irritated Neighbors right next door to the Loud Screamers. As that's pretty much how it goes here in the city of uh, Rawlings. All right, there we go. And I guess we better start the clock again here. So we've been building and repairing, and I think it's time to hit our mad scientist neighbors down below. Uh-oh. All right, Catwick is trying to invade us as soon as we leave Altanazal. So even though we have our two new guard towers, probably not a good idea to just leave them uh, to fight the Catwick army, though it's not very tough. We could probably take them, but I think maybe another move might be in order first. One of the problems is we're getting kind of low on income. In fact, right now we're at negative 41 since I built a new vehicle. Um, and with the Titan one, that's not helping anything. So I think what we're going to actually do is take Kransenberg. Um, I think that's probably a better idea. And that will kind of unite our territories together too. And we'll hold all the roads uh, down south to Catwick. So uh, let's go ahead and do that. So we'll move uh, the army I've selected here to invade uh, Kransenberg. And from what I saw, they're pretty much just defensive buildings. I'm also bringing the brand new Titan one, which took forever to build, but it's just massive and super cool. And uh, we'll bring the one marine air shop. We got two of our marine hives, uh, marine hive mark one and two for uh, dropping marines into the enemy's bases. We're definitely gonna need to do that as uh, they have lots of defense structures. And if we don't uh, take over some of them with our troops, we're probably gonna end up losing some of our vehicles here. As uh, this is probably, I would consider a lighter force to take on five or six buildings. Uh, but I have faith. And uh, with our brand new giant uh, land cruiser too, uh, even if we lose some of our airships, I think we'll be able to pull it off just by having uh, the Titan 1 on our team. Uh, crushing trees already, so that's a good sign. All right, let's see. We need to get a little closer. Uh, what I want to do is see if we can take, uh, drop a couple bombs at least on them, but maybe take one of these first buildings here. And uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and move this guy back up to the top. I want to get him all moving out and get out of the way of our Titan vehicle. And uh, we'll move this one closer so maybe we can take some of the uh, front buildings. And we got a couple bombs dropped on the uh, first defense building. It's kind of stuck down behind a ledge. And I'll bring, uh, well, let's see. Let's bring the tank up, not all the way, but just a little bit more. Probably beyond where the airship is, if possible. All right, it's moving. Very slowly, but it's moving. All right, our uh, marine airship seems to uh, be taking damage. Uh, but what I want to do is drop some troops in. Let's see. Let's move it on top of the last building so it's taking something that won't be in the way of the other ones that can come in and take maybe the middle and the first buildings. So we're going to hit some of that. And we're getting ripped up as we get over there. Not looking really good for the Marine Airship. It's on fire. It's getting poked full of holes. 
They are not liking this. Um, get some tools! <laughs> As I heard a ship disintegrates around us. I love some of the commentary coming out of there. Alright, we need to try to drop these uh, marines out of here before we completely lose our ship. Uh, but I think we're probably a little too far away. And did we just lose control of it? Let's get one of these other airships in here that we can still control. Uh, we'll see if we can move it here on top of the uh, buildings and get close enough to drop people in. And let's see, our third one's still way back here. We've got to move it up. And uh, we'll bring up the uh, Titan 1, too. We'll see how much further we can take it. All the way here. At least, uh, at least halfway closer to the city so we can put some holes in them. All right, I think we're ready to drop some of these troops. And let's do it into the second building here with their... Uh, flag on it. Looks like we've already with just a couple of uh, our marines taken pretty much their building. They only have one guard in there and we have three invaders. So, looking pretty bad for them. Alright, we lost the marine airship. It completely disintegrated. Unfortunately, before we get our troops out of there, but it looks like it's done a pretty good amount of damage to all three of the buildings it was over. Basically, the uh, wreckage coming down and setting everything on fire, so... Even though we lost it, uh, it's probably done its job, as everything over there is on fire or damaged. Let's go and bring the other one over top, and we'll drop some bombs to hopefully uh, finish off them off, and if we need to drop uh, troops in there, we can. It looks like we might actually have to use a Titan here to destroy the rest of the buildings. We put a pretty good uh, hole in the first one, for sure. And the second one looks like it is probably uh, been taken. They're still trying to take over the uh, first, or the second building there, it looks like. But uh, I feel pretty confident about this. Alright, let's move up a little bit more and see if we can drop some more bombs on them. There we go. And looks like we're uh, celebrating, so I think we, we've won. Though we did lose a ship that time. We lost Marine Airship, but we uh, Marine Hive 2 and Mark 1 are both fine and uh, they surrounded the building so we're gonna go and do a general takeover and uh, that will keep most of the infrastructure there and we'll just repair Kranzenberg a little bit and uh, that will be a new base of operations also gets our roads together alright so it's been a little bit uh, and uh, now it looks like we have the uh, mad scientists coming to attack us for a change and at night at that uh, but we did have a uh, fleet stationed over uh, in at, uh, Antonazal, so uh, we can defend a little bit. One of them is the Encroacher too, so I can finally put that bus out of use. Let's get it going here. They got a huge army of mechs, it looks like, with a cannon arm and some kind of squid-like arm. So let's see if we can uh, stop them in their tracks with the saw. I'm hoping that if I do the ramming thing with the saw, I can plow right through a bunch of them. And looks like we've pushed our saw all the way through their body, but their squid arms are attacking and ripping my face off. Well, that's not a good thing. Uh, but we do have a lot of cannon fire. We've already disabled the first one. That one's down. Uh, but unfortunately, our saw has been disabled too, and we just lost the front half of our ship. <laughs> oh my god. Take cover. Quick water. Get some tools. It's a pretty bad sign. I think we pretty much lost the encroacher there to uh, the army of mechs that uh, the mad scientists have sent over to destroy our base. Let's go and bring some of these other airships down. Um, I don't think we can board these with marines, so we really just need to get the cannons on level and start plowing through their ranks with cannon shells. Uh, and they're firing back with machine guns or something. I'm not sure if it's a cannon or machine gun on their other arm. But so far, it's one to one. We've taken out one of theirs, and they've taken out our encroacher, unfortunately, which was our... Uh, Cool shift from last time that we built together. All right, two of them down, and uh, we are setting a pretty good barrage of cannonballs, especially with the new uh, buildings. The uh, screaming watchtower and the irritated neighbor watchtower are also uh, just totally wrecking these guys with cannonballs. Uh, and it looks like they're all still focused on the encroacher too, so it can kind of be our meat shield in the meantime, as they're not going to be able to get around it till they totally destroy it. So that's good for uh, our army, basically, as we have more time to put holes in them. Let's move some of our uh, transports up a little closer. And it looks like those uh, squid mechs are giving us the finger. <laughs> Look at them. They're like, screw you guys. Oh, we killed another one. That's three of their uh, mech squid warriors down as they give us the rude gestures. We got seven more to go. And... Uh, they still haven't taken out our encroacher yet, so that's good. They are pretty much just totally demolishing it, though. 
And it looks like our cannons on both our towers are fighting pretty well. It says target not available, but that's uh, targets from the other direction, so we're good. We don't have as many cannons on the backside anyway. And we can see those cannonballs flying. Looks like they're making it over there to uh, the evil squid mechs from the mad scientist. I gotta say, the mad scientist has probably got the best army that I've seen so far outside of mine. Um, and it's too bad the Titan didn't get here soon, because I would have loved to see uh, what the Titan could have done against the uh, squid mech army. But we probably would have lost it if it was up in the front lines. Uh, after seeing what it did to our encroacher. Alright, we looks like we got another ship on uh, fire there. So we might end up losing two. Uh, one of the marine hives too. Let's drop some bombs on these guys. There we go. Oh, that took that guy out quick. I think we just need to get over there and drop bombs on him. So let's move up our other ship too. And see if we can do that to the next two guys. Blew that squid's arm off. Uh oh, this one's like signaling to the others. Come on guys! Let's go tear this guy apart. Uh, what's he doing? Now he's breakdancing. Look at that. I didn't know they had the funk like that. Moonwalking? Oh, I think they're trying to... I think they're trying to destroy my vehicle. Yeah, they're shooting at it. Shooting holes in my vehicle. How dare you? She's going to blow! That's not good. Well, if you're going to blow, drop on their heads, would you? Because I'd like to have a couple less of the squid mecha warriors. All right, we've lost the entire front of our ship there. And uh, now we have four of them left, so it's pretty even fight here, pretty much. Uh, all right, we've lost, completely lost the ship. We got the Red X, the sign of death. So two ships down on our side, but we've uh, killed all of their uh, mech warriors except for four. Let's see if we can get the uh, remaining two. Now we got all but three, and we're blocking their way again. So they're definitely not going to get our town. All right, let's see. We might take another one, too. That would be great if we could take them all the way down to uh, just have two. We still have uh, two ships and two buildings that uh, can at least defend against the other ones. All right, another one down. Can't we kill the last ones? Let's move up a little bit. Now we're cheering, so I think we won that? I'm not sure. Well, they still looted our city by only 20% instead of 60, so I guess that's better. But we killed a bunch of the mechs. I guess they're called Flesh Crackers. We killed 10 out of 12 of their uh, mechs, so I would say that's a success. But we did send uh, two of them back to their hometown, uh, pretty much wiping their army out. So I think it's going to be a lot easier proposition now taking out the uh, enemy mad scientists down to our south. The main thing was just getting enough of an army, basically, that we can move without uh, Catwick sending its army to invade our city. Um, but anyway, I'm going to go ahead and repair here all the different buildings and uh, different ships and build some new ships. Here, we need to go ahead and uh, repair up this entire town, basically, that we had taken over. So we'll uh, clean that up and uh, here, let's go ahead and leave. We'll build a couple new ships, too, if we can, as we have a reasonable amount of income. And we're making 158 right now. Uh, we're going to have a little bit more upkeep costs, though, after we get the city of Kranzburg uh, rebuilt. But I'm willing to pay for it. This should work. And I think the next thing we need to do now is come down and kill this mad scientist as uh, retaliation. Uh, and he's sending his troops up. Uh, we sent our troops down. But uh, we got there to his base first. So let's see if we can take out their base uh, before he sends his two troops to attack my two buildings. All right. Maybe we can even get back in time. All right, we'll send our ships up here. We've kind of arranged everything to uh, come in for a fight. And what I want to do is to send our Marines in. So I think that's going to be the best way to defeat this tower. Looks like it has a really powerful laser. I did bring the Titan one with me, though. Uh, so we do have a pretty good amount of firepower against the tower's laser. But uh, we should probably both concentrate on taking out his weapon and uh, getting as many Marines in through the bottom of that tower as possible. And I brought three of the Marine Hives, so... We should have a lot of Marines and more than uh, they're going to be able to defend. We'll go and bring the first one down here and drop off our uh, Marines. Let them invade. Looks like they're already uh, switching their aim from shooting at our giant tank to now shooting at uh, our airship. What's up close? I guess they know probably what's up now. Let's go and bring the other ones in uh, to a place where they can go and land. And we should probably move up our, our ship to our land ship here in a second. Uh, all right, we already got some repair notices. They hit our engine a couple times, so we're uh, 
set down, but uh, just giving us some cover basically for the Marines to pile out a little bit easier now that we've basically been forced to land on the first ship and uh, setting everybody in now. Alright, let's go ahead and send the third one up too if we can. And this one, let's go ahead and load our Marines now into the tower. Look, we got a huge wave of them coming in. And now you can see the green bar uh, coming in as uh, the fight starts with the invader Voyaging Force uh, overwhelming the defense on the bottom floor. And now we are 75% uh, of the way there taking over the tower. And we've also blown the laser weapon off, basically disarming them. So our Marines uh, basically will go in and uh, just kill everything. Hopefully capture some of the new technologies as usually get some for taking out mad scientists. So we also uh, leveled the Evil Inventor's Lair and got 3,000 uh, gold added to our own too. So we'll gladly take that. Well, we had a pretty successful episode here that I'm going to have to wrap up here just due to the uh, time it's been running on. But we took out pirates, we took out uh, mad scientists, and two, conquered two new lands. Only losing a couple airships, and so we got three more to go, including some brand new dragons and another batch of man scientists down south. So stay tuned for that. Uh, let me know what you guys think of the series if you're enjoying it. Remember, Airships is a completely free game on Steam, so you might check it out if you can get around the retro graphics. It is a lot of fun. But I look forward to seeing you guys in the very next episode. Later!